Hi, Milaida. Hey guys, I'm Bansa. Uh, right now we're at the beautiful Pusehaven and this is a great place to hang out, to eat some food with some very scenic views. It's basically a canal. It really gives you kind of the Dutch vibe a bit. Also in the evening when it's dark, the lights look really beautiful and then the bars are also more light. The street is called Korte Heubel. This is basically the bar and the club streets. During the day, they are basically bars. That but are like during a lot the of, night. But during the night, they kind of transform into nightclubs. Yeah, there's also really cool events like silent discos. It's a great place to hang out with your friends. Any good parties you've been? Yeah, a goodbye party for our friend uh, who was going back home. So we went to the silent disco here. We're at the heart of Tilburg, we're at the city center. And if we turn around a little bit more, you can see some more restaurants, some cafes. I really recommend Havana. They have amazing nachos. There is also actually a bike parking garage. Oh yeah, let's try uh, it. Right there, right? Yes, it's uh, basically underground. So you just take your bike downstairs and get a ticket. So it's a safe place to park your bike. Dutch people love to invent nice things for bike parking, I guess. Right behind us actually, you can see the pate, which is the cinema. And they actually have super discounts on certain days where you can see movies for much cheaper. There is actually quite a popular international student association which is called ISN. They sell really, really cheap beers. One cup is 1.5 euros. It's definitely a financially responsible <laughs> option. A shopping street that's pretty long. Anything from chains to really small boutiques with very unique items. Now we're at Plius Plain, so it's also really in the center. And here you can find more bars, more cafes, and the prices are pretty good. They're not super cheap, but they're not expensive, especially compared to places like Amsterdam or Rotterdam. They are always really full around yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. Even when the other places are actually quite empty. empty. yeah. This place is still full of people. There is a McDonald's. Every student's <laughs> uh, necessary purchase. If you want to get some quick food here. Uh, or a midnight snack. Currently at the Dvalkebeet, the wandering area as it's called. It's a very nice street with lots of old buildings, a very cute flower shop and some cafes scattered around. We're currently at the Mutsai Cafe and right at the end of this street you can actually see the central station. So I think from this you can take away how close everything is together and you can just walk everywhere and it's no hassle. Let's go this way. Hey guys, so we're currently at uh, Spore Zone in front of Block Hall, which is uh, the library here. I've been there, been there a few times. It's uh, It has like a lot of places. And the and atmosphere is really interesting in there. It's very modern, but also it has train tracks on the ground. Apparently this space was uh, repurposed uh, in its time to make it more accessible. To just make it a nice area to chill, to party. Bensa had mentioned to me before that it's a good place to have photo shoots as well. Yeah, it actually is. Uh, I've had one around here and uh, you can just find really nice backgrounds for, for your shots. If you just want to go for this vibe, I definitely recommend. Hey guys, so we're currently at Spore Park, which is a really nice place to hang out when the sun is shining. That in the background is like a nice tour, so you go upstairs and have a view as well. But also there is the National Student Accommodation behind, like called Talent Square. This park right next to it is really cool. It basically has been a, a citizen initiative. I hope you enjoyed our tour around Tilburg. Bye. Bye.